All right, uh, the starter on this I need to test. And right now the immobilizer is holding it out. So if you've got one of these and you want to test the starter, there is no start relay. There's no start relay in here and there's no start relay inside the vehicle. So without a start relay, you can't test the starter unless you go down there. But there's another way. So I'll show you that. I'm going to bring it in closer here. There's this connector. Hopefully you can see it there. Get a really close view here. Sorry about the crows. I can't control them. Okay, this twist control or lock, I, I couldn't figure out how to get this apart. Anyways, it comes off this loom here, but I had no idea how this, this twists, so I just broke it off. Um, this is some kind of twist lock that they use. I don't know. Anyways, then what you can do is you can pull this apart. It's really tight connector. Just kind of wiggle it back and forth, and it comes apart. It only goes on one way. Can't just put it on anyway, and it's really hard to take apart. Now, this black wire with the yellow stripe that's right here, it's right here next to this green wire. There's a black with a yellow stripe. If you flip this over, it's that pin right there. So that pin right there, hopefully you can see it in the video. Let me get a, a better pointing tool. So this black with the yellow wire is this pin right there. Put this up a little bit. Right here. So what I'm going to do is put a jumper from here right to this battery terminal. So let me grab a jumper wire. So I'm going to take this jumper wire. All this is is two alligator clips. And... I'm going to put one jumper wire right on this one here, this terminal, which is the black and the yellow right there. The key's not in the ignition. The battery's just on. So let me zoom back out a little bit here. And there's a, on the car, the battery on this one is a Cooper S. So the battery's in the back, but there's a jumper cable post right here and I'm going to touch that here it goes so that's how you can test the starter without going down into the starter I couldn't find any videos or anyone how to do this there was one guy um, out in Europe I'll post a link to his video he talked about this connector right there um, he didn't talk about how to take it apart so Again, I had to break it to get it apart. I have no idea if someone knows how to twist that off. Um, but that will at least get you to test your starter. So that's number one. Uh, second thing I wanted to show you on here is how to send voltage to your uh, coil pack. So um, let me take the camera off here. The coil pack is right here on this Mini Cooper, and there's a connector right here in the back. If you take this red piece and push it to the side, pull it out over here. So now this is this red is sticking out over here. There's a button right on the back right here. You're gonna depress that. And let me see if I can do this with one hand. No, it works pretty good with a screwdriver. You can, you can see it right there. I'm gonna push this down and push it away. And that slides that off. And there's three wires on here. There's a black and yellow, there's a red, and there's a, it looks like just a black. That red terminal is your hot wire. Um, and I'm gonna show you that real quick. I might have to use these spark plug wires to hold this in place if it gives me enough slack. 
these crows are great. Okay, that center terminal is your hot wire. Now, you're probably wondering how do you get, right now this thing, the mobilizer's messed up. The EWS is screwed up, so I can't make anything happen. But I'm going to put voltage there by, I take off this fuse cover here, and this R1 right here, it shows a little engine. That is actually the voltage. This relay right here is the voltage that goes to that center terminal. So originally I thought this was a fuel pump relay, it's not. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Wipe it off. Okay. Terminal 30 on the far left, right over here, goes straight across to 87. So on the bottom of this, you'll see there's terminal 30 at the top and 87's on the right and the center. But if you look, they're not using the center. But if I were to take this, here's terminal 30 and here's 87 and rotate it like this, that means this right here is terminal 30 and this one is 87. So I made a little jumper. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick with my meter. Let me, let me push pause real quick. Put this on DC volts. Put the camera on the stand here. I apologize, I don't really edit these videos, so I kind of just do them on the fly when I find something. And I'm gonna take this jumper back off the starter. And I made a little terminal. Let me see, I gotta use a screwdriver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little screwdriver like this and attach it like this because this tip of the screwdriver will fit inside this terminal here. And I just want to show you that there's voltage or no voltage actually, I want to show you. And then we're gonna put that, let's see if I can get this in the picture where you can see it. Whoops. Need that on volts, DC. Let's see if you can see that. No? How about there? Yes, you can see it there. All right, I'm gonna put the red terminal on the other side of this jumper. So right now my jumper is going from volts DC over to the center of that. Now I'm going to take this black lead and just touch it to ground. So I got zero volts. Hopefully I'm not blocking you, zero volts. Now I'm gonna take a jumper I made. This is just simply a, a wire with two spade terminals on the ends of it. And what this is gonna do, I'm gonna put it in number 30 and number 87. Whoops, the terminal already fell off. Put it in these two. All right, now my jumper's in there. I'm gonna go back to ground. And now you'll see I have 12 volts. Hopefully you can see. I now have 12 volts. If I take this jumper off, there, no voltage. Put it back on. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Kind of can. Having a little bit of trouble. Let me put it back in there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And my little jumper broke. All right, it's back in there. Now I'm at 12 volts. So that's how you can get voltage to your coil. The other issue is I believe the immobilizer 
also cuts out the signal to the cam sensor because the other thing I did is after I plugged this coil pack back in, right now I should have 12 volts to it, plugging it back in, get this out of the way. up a little bit grab a spark plug I got a spark plug here I pull this out put a spark plug on the end of it get this where I can get it grounded put this back on the starter so now I have voltage on my coil pack and I'm going to turn the starter over. But I get no spark. Let me see if I can come around here. I'm getting no spark. So either one of my sensors is bad or you're not supposed to do this. Um, but I'm going to try the other, the other three, there's one, there's another one here. These are really hard to get out. Uh, uh. All right. There's another spark plug. Let's see if this one does anything. Nothing, no spark. Um, I'm guessing the other two are going to be the same, but we'll test them anyway. I can get them out. I'll make this one our last one because I can't get that other one out. Whoa, what was that? Scared me for a second. I don't know what I hit. No spark on that. So, even though I've got voltage on here, I've got no spark. So, hopefully this helps someone else. And uh, remember, that's your relay and that's your starter. Thanks.